Hello everybody, <laughs> I'm here with Salvador Jimenez and this is his Hello. one last show before the East Coast. So uh, Salvador, uh, he, we're here at the uh, 33 Contemporary Art Next Level Gallery and it's for a one night show. Yep. Right, and we're doing today. So tell us a little bit about the pieces that you have here, Sal. So here I have a combination of um, old works and also some new works and everything in between. So pretty much this is just kind of like a way of trying to make um, art accessible for all the people that might be interested in getting some of this work and that way to fund um, kind of like this year long residency that I'll be doing at the Office of the Arts at, at the Harbor Ceramic Studios in Boston. So I'm going to be moving there. So this is just kind of like a nice way to make uh, the work accessible for everyone in the midst and the Midwest, so it can stay here, right. and I can go to the East and make some more work over there. <laughs> That's cool. <laughs> so tell us a little bit about the uh, this trip. There's a residency program that you're going to be part of in Boston as part of the Harvard University. Mm -hmm. So what's it, what does it consist about? Mm -hmm. and a little bit about so that. the main thing is, um, I will be focusing on my research and uh, my studio practice. So um, I'm, I'm going to try to make sure that I'm like at least 20 hours there um, a week. And then there, are, there will be a few teaching opportunities and workshops and lectures that I'll be providing um, through the Harbor Ceramics Studios. Uh -huh. And that will be open to the students, faculty, but also to the members of the community. So but the main thing is to focus on my studio practice. There. That's great. Why don't you pick one of these pieces here you can tell us a little bit about maybe one of your uh, favorite pieces on this wall? This one? Which one? Um, Let me, I think uh, probably I'm, this one. I'm going to turn the camera. Mm -hmm. All right. Yeah. So, so tell us a little bit about this one. So this series of work that you saw at the beginning that you were filming, it came from a series of work that was showcased at the Indianapolis um, Art Center. Okay. And the theme for this one was Day of the Dead celebration. So this motif of the mask is a combination of the luchador mask, the mm -hmm. um, skull, and also the plastic calendar. So from there, it came like this idea of the mask. So this series is called Behind the Mask. Okay. So it's trying to tell the story of, the, of these different people that came to, that try to make it to the States, but right. they die in the process of coming to the States. So in a way, I was trying to um, um, pay tribute to their, to their lives. And, uh, okay. A lot of this story, so each of these uh, prints tells the story of someone who had the same dream and the boldness of making this move and migrating to the States. And uh, this one's so, pretty cool too. So their title based on the person. So a lot of the stories I knew a lot about this. The, 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 the artist, oh, I'm sorry, the, the person, the person. Okay. okay. Or I only had like their name and age. So a lot of those I had to kind of like put myself in their shoes and try to see what, what were the things that we were um, thinking about or yeah. um, you know, what were their dreams or their hopes. Okay. So this one in particular deals with uh, you know, someone who was like in his teens, like 15. Okay. So that's the age that I actually migrated to the States. So it was a little bit more, a so way of making it a little bit more personal. And I was able to think, think back when I was a teenager mm -hmm. and right before I left in Mexico, in uh, before I left Mexico, there okay. were different changes that I was going through okay. through my um, adolescence uh, years. Okay. And so that's. That's why it has all those different symbolisms. Okay. Can we take a look at the masks that we have in the back? I think those masks are really awesome. Maybe you can tell us a little bit about those. So we're going to walk to another wall. And we have more guests coming in today as well. So uh, let me uh, switch the camera so our friends can see it right there. So this is part of a, of a larger collection of kind of pens. Correct? So yeah, tell us a little bit about it while we walk through it. This series was more about, it was part of my thesis uh, series uh, in, uh, in my MFA program at Kendall College of Arlington in Michigan. So this, this had to 
Google about more ways to identity, culture, and place. And I was the idea of self portrait and kind of like incorporating myself into these different personas that I that I possess. And also okay. how we we become like ourselves like chameleons and we have to uh, adapt for different uh, uh, contexts, places that we go to. And at the same time, I was trying to capture all these different, um, uh, the complexity that exists within us as humans. Mm -hmm. And also having the idea of living in two different worlds to the same okay. way, which is being bilingual, being bicultural, and all the different layers that come in between. And, and I just yeah. wanted to capture all these different The symbolism is pretty strong. Yeah. 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 So, a, a little bit about the material. So, most of it is ceramic work. Mm -hmm. Correct, but you also uh, use wood and other materials uh, sometimes, right? And I, one, and I think for me, it's, it's, it's I'm always curious about materials and always curious about trying something new. So I think for me, it's just it's like a, like a, just to try different materials. Okay. And I always enjoy incorporating the other techniques or materials yeah. that I've used in the past and try to mix them with yeah. the new thing that I'm learning. Okay. So ceramics is the material that I've been working on recently and okay. it's something that you know keeps me entertained yeah. and I'm always interested in what new things I can do with ceramics. But I don't yeah. even approach it as a ceramicist, I just approach it as, as an artist yeah. and what else um, this material can allow me to do. Yeah. So, when I do two-dimensional work with clay, I almost think about it as a canvas or a paper, okay. and then how I can draw with it. And even when I work with clay, I think about it the same way I, I work with uh, charcoal or with graphite. Okay. The same way I draw, that's how I treat the ceramics. That's really cool. And so it's a very like fluid, uh, mm -hmm. spontaneous uh, material that allows me to to be very intuitive. And that's. A big part of it's a very personal material because yeah, you, you know you are in touch tangible, with it. Yeah, tangible. And it's it's some it's a material that has been in the world for so long. So it's like absolutely, you know, it's something that we all have in common in yeah. all cultures and all all over the world. So Everywhere, I like that that yeah. part of it. Absolutely. Well, that sounds pretty good. So also we're uh, you know we're really excited to have the show here. And where can uh, people find more about you? What's your website? Uh, my website is SalvadorJimenezFlores.com So you guys are welcome to go and visit that new website. Awesome. Great, man. Thanks so much. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Got some hearts there. Awesome. Thanks so much. All right.